A morning has arrived and apparently so did these boys. Get out of here, dude. So <laughs> welcome back to Project Zomboid, everybody. It seems like we really need to get rid of these stupid survivors because they are a constant issue. Constant issue that Butch does not want to deal with. As I dispose of the corpse on this uh, very foggy and cold morning, I just wanted to say, it seems like there's been snow overnight, but it has now disappeared, so I guess that's good. And there's our two <laughs> survivors. We do have our car uh, in a bit more operational state now. I have checked just a bit earlier and and now we actually have the battery at 70 percent i just let the car running overnight and it's it's good life is good we have let's see 18 kilos of loot we can put in here so it's pretty terrible but it will have to do so now that we do have the ability to use the car let's use the car this is it right this is as far as we can drive so i'm gonna just gonna nicely park the car over here I'll let it be. Now, I think while we still can be a bit more sneaky, I'm gonna use the axe to chop down whatever and whoever we have to chop down. But once we get into bigger uh, zombie numbers, we can switch over to shotgun and start blasting. Just gotta admit, <laughs> the freaking visibility today is even worse than it was yesterday. Not a fan at all. I do see a few moving over there. And it would be safest if we just took care of, well, everything that is here so I can then just safely loot. And of course, there's more Santas. What? Why are there Santas in the military compound? Come on. Ooh, that's a sweet backpack. I wanna look at that. I'm guessing if I took out the shotgun and just started blasting, at least that way these guys will know where I am and gonna start coming at me and then they're just gonna be fine. Because now all I do is hear a bunch of gnarling from the outside of my vision range, but I don't know exactly where they are and I have to be on my toes constantly. Not a fan of these sneaky zomboids, okay? Let's take a quick look in here. I know we can get some... Some good stuff. Ooh, tactical belt. I think it's about time we get rid of the silly fanny pack. Holster. Yes, I actually need that one. Thank you. Maybe if I stay sneaky and just use the axe, this is gonna be easy mode. So nobody's gonna know where I am. Sneaky beaky like, you know? These seem to just contain clothing, unfortunately. Ah, there you are. There's at least two of you. Cool backpack, I might wanna grab it. Lady, you wanna explain to me why you didn't wanna come inside? Oh yeah, I see now. You're a silly billy. Okay, I see you in there. This is this is the scariest thing, because these guys are hiding in these tents. And you don't get to see them until you're in there. And then, there's that monstrosity coming at you. Oh my god, just die. Lots of boxes nothing in here though of course you're just you're just stay in there huh could you like come outside maybe i think i need to start shooting the shotgun so these guys are gonna evacuate the premise over here and i can actually get in here and loot because otherwise we're gonna have these happy hippos coming at me over here and i'm gonna get fucking cornered like right now that's really bad let's not get cornered shall we you know what I don't care, we're taking the shotgun to this. Uh, awaken the beast, so to say. Uh, you're gonna come for me, aren't you? Get out of here and get eaten there. I don't think, oh, okay, I hit them. I hit them in the leg. They're limping. Wow, these, this guy's uh, staying strong. But now that he's limping, the, the zombie's gonna get him. He's gonna get got. He's gonna get him, sorry. I'm sorry, survivor, but you don't get to stay alive over here. Yep, there he goes. He's down. All right, now we have a couple more incoming. Just stand up so I can shoot you. How's it going, friends? Say hello to my little shotgun. If you're gonna keep on coming one-on-one, -on -one, I don't know if I really need to use the shotgun, really. Okay, this survivor had all kinds of stuff on them. Fresh pie? Oh man, we're taking that. All right, couple more happy campers. Come on in, boys. Gas mask from these guys is gonna be very useful for later on. And now the fog is dissipating. That's pretty cool. These guys can't get to me because this is all barricaded. 
and they can't break through it. Ooh, we got ourselves a gun with a magazine. Just one box of runs, uh, rounds, doesn't really do much for us. And you know, we're kind of low level to use that anyway. And there is also a generator over here. That is sweet. There is a zombie coming. I can hear him. He's walking around out here. I got a, myself a double holster, so it's gonna be decently useful. Can we open any of these? Nope. I'm not gonna waste my axe trying to break this down. I don't think that's really worth it right now. Although, of course, they could have some guns and ammo for me. Ah, there you are. I heard you. Well, generally, gotta admit, the, the loot over here wasn't very good or even worth it. But we know we have left a bunch of ammo behind uh, last episode, so we can go and grab all of that. Also, there's two survivors over here. You know, uh, I'll let you be. As long as you let me be, I'll let you be. I knew there's gonna be more hiding over here, and that's a level up on the axe. I knew this is gonna be a dangerous one to get in because it had freaking trees on the entrance. This is just two, we're good. There's the third one. Stay. And you stay. Okay. These are like freaking toilet zombies on steroids. This looks like an army kitchen of sorts or something like that. I'm gonna I'm gonna try to get in here and see what we can find. Bunch of canned food. Of course we still can't open the canned food, but that's fine. Time to go and bring all these goodies back home. I'm gonna need to do another trip because there is still some stuff left and we haven't really explored the whole thing, but we can do that in the morning. It's gonna be safer that way. Chance of snowfall for tomorrow. Okay, well, that's... <laughs> That's, that's pretty good, I guess. Six in the morning and already I can see outside. A beautiful snowy morning. Well, what is there not to love, right? Yes, we're gonna go back to the military spot. We're gonna breach into the last area where we haven't been before yet. We're gonna loot everything we can. Chop chop before the snow takes it all. You have a cool backpack, but I don't really need any more backpacks. We have actually a lot of backpacks stored. Not I'm probably ever gonna need all of them, but they're there. As expected, these boys are still around over here. They will always be around over here, it's impossible to get rid of them. We're gonna take these two ammo canisters over here for 308. We will eventually be able to uh, use this. And uh, you know what, I'm not taking the explosive stuff yet, because can't really use it. This is this is nine kilos. Yeah, I thought these guns are always so heavy. Well, we might not have quite the guns for it. We need to stack on basically everything we can get at this point because it's gonna get tougher and tougher to actually get resources like ammo and such later on because we're gonna have more zombies to deal with as we progress. And of course, deeper in the city, there's more zombies by default anyway already. I am actually gonna use this backpack. It's it's gonna be useful to me because uh, I can fit in quite a lot over here and then just drop it on uh, one of the seats. So yeah, we will take this thing. There's quite a few zeds over there. We're not gonna open that barricade because, well, we don't really need to. And since we do have a hammer, I can try picking up these uh, crates over here and well, just destroying them or whatever in the process. We got some friends. That's fine. Also, there's some survivors on that side over there. It's just... Yeah, that's three. You know what? I'm gonna take my axe out. This is fine. Let's do this. Looks like that these guys were in between the fencing over here. And once I broke that, they all remember how to get through here. So... I guess we'll have to deal with a couple of them. Come one, come all. We just got ourselves a machete. Not only we have axes, we got ourselves a machete. I love that. Come on in, you as well, dude. Let's do that. That's a good condition machete. I will gladly use it. All right, that's look... Oh, somebody's yelling. Maybe somebody got... got. Oh, it does look like there's a hole over there as well. So these guys that were here are now coming this way. Ah, that's how it is. All right, I mean, that's fine. Just come on in, boys. And there's more coming. I can't hit the lady on the ground, apparently. That's fine. You know, I didn't want to do that anyway. Come on, come on. Let's get partying. I'm actually gonna go make sure that this place is cleared out now that we know that we can open up. Yeah, I knew there's gonna be some more of you. Let's get this started. There's a sling in here that I'll take, and that's very nice. 
Oh, this we got some good decent stuff over here. And we can upgrade it with this site as well. Apparently the sling not. Oh yeah, just needed to have it in my uh, inventory. And now we got an upgrade with a sling as well. Okay, that's great. Looks like a couple more has arrived over here. Wow, this is kind of hard to see between all that i'll take your matches thank you let's pick up this crate and let's finally get an entrance over here now since i don't know how many there are left i'm gonna switch to my shotgun i'm gonna start blasting and hopefully that's gonna attract all of the other boys out here and then we can take them out doesn't seem like there is that many so that's nice cool outfits and all of these guys though pretty after shooting my shotgun five people Okay, there's one more. It feels like they're slightly concerned and don't want to attack me. This guy's got something good, doesn't he? Yes. Oh, yes. Night vision goggles. Love that. Give it to me, buddy. Looks like this could have some useful stuff. Let's take a good look over here. Okay, that's one box of rounds. I'll take it. And over here, we have a freaking minigun. God, we... <laughs> Oh <laughs> god, look at how heavy this is, 17 kilos. I mean, who the fuck can even use that? Well, I have taken the minigun, so we're gonna bring that home. We also got a ton of 308 ammo and quite some 556. I think we have a 556 gun at home. We do not have a 308 gun, so that's a bit unfortunate. But I'll keep on looking, maybe we can find something else. Well, hell. Now we do have a grenade launcher, BMG suppressor as well, which is pretty huge. And we have this cold, which is actually decent as well. Oh my God. Are we really going to take the explosive rounds now? Grenade launcher can't even carry all this out. You know what? I know where it is. We can come back for it. Okay. We have people in here, but this, this storage area looks like a freaking jackpot to me. That looks like it can have a ton of good, useful stuff for us. Does seem like it has a bit of a presence. That's another shotgun for me, yes. Ah, here you are, sir. Ah, you have more friends as well. Well, oh yeah, I see more in here. Okay, I, I'm really surprised how none of these guys heard my shotgun shooting. There's multiples in here still, and they refuse to come out. Wow. That is, that is like literally racist. I'm gonna drop this military backpack. I don't want to be over encumbered while I go to town on you dudes. And I will make you come out. How did you miss the lady on the ground? Come on. Now everybody's gonna have to come outside. And yoink. I knew there were more of you. We're gonna go in through the toilets. This is it, boys. This is how we roll. In through the toilets. Out through the shitters. We have another armory over here. Oh, you love to see that. This is gonna have some good loot. I think we're leaving the minigun behind today. Because there's just so much more useful stuff I think we can uh, grab from here. Remember how I said we don't have anything for 308? We have a machine gun now. <laughs> I'm gonna instantly install this uh, three-point sling on it. So to reduce its weight. Cause it's 10 kilos right now and that's nine kilos see that, that that helps a bit shotgun suppressor oh life is looking good boys we got ourselves a suppressor for this that is amazing and we have more shotgun shells over here a bmg rifle because <laughs> who doesn't want another giant heavy rifle over here all right we're now damaging ourselves by carrying way way too much like extremely way too much and uh <laughs> that's fine that's completely okay we're going back to the car then we're coming back and we're gonna carry even more just enjoying a nice pie slice mmm so delicious i wish you could drive closer that would make these things much more easy for me the survivors there's two survivors just sneaking around over here if there's any zombies they're gonna take care of them i don't even need to worry about this anymore it's easy money for me. I just need to pick up the loot and I'm good. Now, give me something good in here. Well, remember when I said give me something good? Oh no, torch, finally. <laughs> a torch that I definitely wanted because I kind of disassembled the last one. But otherwise, this was just full of food, nothing else. Yes, I have left this bad boy. I am taking this bolt action rifle because that's going to be great. But sure. Let's take the minigun canister, why not? Because now I can actually take the stupid minigun with me. Why wouldn't I take a minigun, right? 
Why not? I'm not even carrying that much ore, so we're good. Okay, I think that should do it for this place. I think we all looted all the good stuff that I wanted. And now it's time to go home. And zombies, I don't care if you stay here or not. Oh, look at that. I can finally see where I walk where I get home. Oh, isn't that good? Right, I have a lot of inventory management to do right so i have taken an extra day and now my guy is bored of course he is what i did basically is just put all of our stuff into uh storage over here so we set that up we have a bunch of guns lying all over the place as you can see which we can use in the future but for now we are sticking to the shotgun because we still need to level up our aiming quite a lot more i have also finished reading the electrical books so now we'll you know have the ability to disassemble some electrical materials and that's gonna be fine also put some uh, extra stuff on our windows so nobody can see what we're doing in here which is uh perfection but yeah, uh, now that we have a lot of ammo and guns and such, I think it's time we get some more ammo and guns and such. There is a prison very, very near to where we have started our journey over here. And I wanted to go there because right now it should not be overrun with too many zombies yet. And we have a chance to get into the armory pretty safe and sound so that's what i'm gonna attempt to do we do have a couple of friends follow me over here and i wanted to take them out because i wanted to check this place over here because i think it can have some useful stuff as well that's my car you silly billy stay down let's take a look if there's something over here yes there is actually a rifle the path to the prison is pretty overgrown but i think we should still be able to make it down there there it is there's the prison we can already see it now, we don't actually need a sledgehammer to get in here, which is uh, really amazing because most of the places in, Lu not Louisville, Raven Creek, this is Raven Creek, you actually do need a sledgehammer, but over here, not so much. Let's start chopping down some uh, natives over here, and what would be the best thing to do is if we go in here and kill them inside because that's gonna potentially give us a, the key that we will need all right yeah come on inside let's uh, let's do this inside if you didn't know every zombie you kill inside of a house they can give you a key for that place this one did not hey dudes how do you do i don't think we can open this but you guys might be able to destroy it so good luck with that all these guys bang i'm gonna pop in here i hear there's some zombies around I don't know exactly where. It sounds like we have quite a lot over here, actually. Mmm, this could be bad. This could be bad. We're gonna need a shotgun, but I do kind of want them to destroy that place, though. Oh, they're already here. Okay, looks like some managed to do this. That's fine. All right, more are coming. Ooh, let's go. Aiming level three, perfection. Yeah, come on in. One of these should definitely give us a key, right? And that's a reloading level 3 as well. Sweet. Uh, those guys managed to break through over there, it seems. Let's just take you down. Oh, we have banging over here now. This could be problematic. <laughs> we might have made more noise than I was hoping for. We have some outside as well. Alright, they have broken through over there. This could be... It's gonna be a problem. Hey guys, I'm just gonna take an axe to your head. No, don't want to waste too many bullets. I was hoping we we're gonna get in here sneaky peeky like, but clearly that's not gonna be the case anymore. Oh, look at that helmy. That's a cool helmy, bro. Yeah. I mean, it's not like it protected you from zombies, but it's pretty cool. Hey, let's go. House key. All right, that's all we really wanted. Let's see if there's any remaining up here it does not look like it which is perfect so now that we have the key yeah we can unlock this you love to see it that's some magazines and a 762 gun i think we have some ammo for that i'm not 100 percent sure but we'll definitely take it that's a 556 gun over here with a magazine and some rounds we do have a 556 gun at home i don't know which one would be better but i'll take it i don't know if this was really worth there is definitely not as much as I was hoping here. Kind of unfortunate, but, you know, it's extremely rare loot. What can you do? Oh, actually, that's some extra loot. I'll take that. All right, this is really all I wanted from this prison. I wanted to get in here. I got in here. I got some good stuff. We killed some zombies. 
I think it's time we bring all these goods back home. But before we go back home, there's one more thing I wanted to do. If we go back to that military blockade, there are some generators there that I think are guaranteed to spawn. I'm gonna grab those and I'm gonna bring them back home. They should be in the back over here. There might still be some zombies around. Wasn't really uh, too careful when running. Yeah, there's, there's one. Let's go. Yeah, we can grab these. Come on, lady zombie. You know I can't fight when I'm carrying... Uh, you know what? She doesn't care. Okay. <laughs> That's fine. Yeah, now she cares. Yes, fine. Let's... Let's do this, I guess. There you go. All right, we're making it out with two generators. We have one in the car already. I'm gonna drop the other one in the back seat. I'm gonna drop the one generator out here. Outside of the house. And I'm gonna drop the other one further up the road to the gas station all right this is our gas station it looks like there's more zombies here than there were last time we were here but that's all right i'm just gonna grab the generator and i'm gonna drop it down here on the ground hopefully that wasn't underneath the roof i might have to move it a bit because it might have been now all we need is generator book, right? So really what we need to do now, after we dispatch these zombies, and go for a, for a bookstore and find ourselves some books. And some of those books, hopefully, there's gonna be the how to use generators thing. There should be a bookstore nearby over here and I'm gonna go check it out. All right, before we go to the bookstore, I have seen something else over there. That place could have a sledgehammer and that, He's an evil survivor. He's saying this will be my base. That's fine. I don't mind that. Just as long as he doesn't cause issues for me. He's gonna go check out what that was. You're gonna get yoinked. I'm afraid he's gonna attack me because he's red. I'm gonna just kill his zombies for now. Did you get bitten, buddy? Did you get bitten? You have to tell me if you got bitten. Oh. Yeah, I you know, probably got bitten. It's better to not take chances with these guys. Oh my god, that's a some kind of a sledgehammer that he's got there. The Gerber Ding Dong tool. I don't think you can use the destroy thing with it, but you can still do some serious damage to any like structures with it. So we're gonna definitely be taking that, but I still wanna go check for a proper sledgehammer. No luck over here, unfortunately. Let's go check the bookstore now is it yeah it's there well i have found many magazines and such i did not find any of the magazines that i wanted there we go we're back home brought a bunch of stuff i wanted to see if i equip this in both of hand of my hands can i use this as a sledgehammer to get the destroy thing no so it doesn't quite work like it but if i try to smash some doors with it it's gonna do some serious damage expecting showers and or heavy rain okay so that means we're gonna have even more rain in the future and thick fog okay thick fog showers heavy rain thick fog good the visibility is gonna be great today we're gonna continue trying to find a uh, book on how to use generators i think that should be my priority for now just so we can get some power and more importantly so we can get gas for our car because otherwise we're going to be kind of running out of that so today i have a plan to visit a school a big i think it's a high school maybe it's even a university but it does have a big library if that one fails there's another like a enigma bookstore nearby that i can check but first things first i'm gonna go to the school and hopefully there's not gonna be too many zombies there yet as you can see visibility is tremendous over here <laughs> i'm gonna be parking our car a bit further away from where we need to go and then we're gonna sneak there through the trees but first we're gonna have to i guess take care of these dudes out here good thing our axe still has power probably at the school we're gonna need to use the shotgun but if I don't need to use the shotgun, that's for the best, because even though we have a suppressor, it's still gonna make some serious noise, so Axe might be a bit quieter, a bit more sneaky, so I might want to use that. Alright, this is the back of the school. The library should be on this side, if I remember correctly. Fellow students here, apparently. Come on out, fellow student. I can't see you. Pretty. I, I hate this, by the way. I hate this. I really hate this. <laughs> Let's see where he got us. 
Uh, right shin got scratched and is bleeding. That's... <laughs> that is so stupid. So stupid. I hate all of those zombies that do that. Please let me bandage. Thank you. All right. Okay. You know, just that's... That's how you get got. And let's be real, maybe I should not have tried to uh, kick the zombie in the nuts in a place where I did not see where the zombie is, you know? That might have been smart. Alright. The other one got through. Let me deal with you one at a time. Let's not fight him where we actually can't see him. That'd be smart, wouldn't it? We have more incoming. Looks like a bunch of students have remained here. And look at that, though. Jason, is that you? That is amazing. Is that a machete on him or is he just happy to see me? This is why we brought the shotgun with us. So we can do this. And just stay and stay. This definitely made more noise, which could be a bit unfortunate, but... You know, sometimes a man's gotta do what a man does. Ah, oh, yeah, there's definitely more inside. I can hear them. And there's Josh in there. Josh, are you okay? It would be a shame if somebody shot you, Josh. Yeah, <laughs> real shame. I have no sympathy for these survivors that are gonna try to murder me over here. So I'd rather murder them instead. I didn't have the chance to loot Jason quite yet, and I'd love to do that but these guys don't give me a break it's a machete let's take it all right let's maybe switch back to the axe so we're a bit more quiet and stop attracting so many of these dudes sure the axe is pretty loud still but it's not that loud right slowly but surely they're still making it out and i almost made the same mistake of trying to fight that guy where i couldn't see that guy so maybe let's not do that huh okay we made entrance the visibility here is Awful, actually. <laughs> it's really hard to see if there's anything on the ground. So I'm gonna have to be very careful when we do this. We haven't found it downstairs, so let's hope maybe we can find it upstairs. Because there is some section still up here as well. Oh, let's freaking go. We found it. <laughs> oh, yes. Thank you very much. Very good. <laughs> very good. Okay, now we can get out of here. And we have... To go set up our generators. Hey friends, don't mind me, I just came here to fix uh, this beautiful Jenny. Just wanted to move it just a bit so it's definitely not underneath there. And we're gonna, we're gonna go and connect this bad boy. And then we're gonna add the fuel that we have. And then a zombie is gonna come, or multiple ones. And they're gonna cause issues because that's what they do. You know zombies? I'm just trying to do a good thing over here and you guys are just obnoxious. Alright. Let's turn this bad boy on. Refuel from gas pump. Oh, let's go. I'm also gonna fill up our gas cans a bit. With the newest update, you can actually uh, fill up normal, like, empty bottles and such with uh, gas as well. You don't even need to have gas cans anymore, but good for us. We have two extras, so I'm gonna use that. Let's get and set up our own generator over here. Let's connect it, and that way we can get some lights in the darkness over here. It's gonna be glorious. It's a backdoor banger. Hello, lady. What's up with that? Maybe I should barricade this back door as well. We're also getting closer to get that electrical level one, which is great, actually. Oh, look at that. We have light now. Oh, you love to see it. Now, if you can get some VHS tapes, we can hopefully watch them over here on the TV. And I know there's a... VHS area nearby. I am not sure though if I need a sledgehammer for it. I'm gonna have to check that out tomorrow maybe. And now before we need to go to sleep, I'm just gonna start reading some of these magazines that we have over here so we can learn the ways of the world. And after we learn the ways of the world, I think tomorrow it's gonna be the search for the sledgehammer. We're gonna go visit some storage yards and such and hopefully we get it. Thank you everybody for being here. I'll see you next time.